previously on Avatar. We, if you can tell by my get up and Nathan's get up, we are having our air bending battle. Finally, after multiple failures at trying to do a fire bending yeah. fight, we're going to be having an air bending fight, which will probably be quicker than fire bending fights, considering you know how powerful air bending is. <laughs> Ow, you fucker! What the fuck? There we go. Come on, you ah. bastard! Die, oh, you fucker! <laughs> Come on. Eh. Okay, 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 okay. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh and my god! Yes! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Can't hit me behind the wall. Oh no, you can! <laughs> Wait, oh what? No! No! Stop! Die. Stop! 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 No! 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 What? My Amethyst! My Amethyst! What is that? She's dead! You killed her! I yes! Again. Shield's gone! What? Shield's gone! <laughs> no! Don't you run, you cock! Oh my god. No, he's got his shield back! What? Yes! Yes! I think now we should find a nice area and build a nice memorial thing for our Amethyr. Or M. I'm just going to keep saying Amethyr because that's how I've been pronouncing it this whole time. There we go. I feel like uh, this is a nice little thing for the memorial. And I think the only thing right to do now is to just give it a moment of silence for a fallen companion. Hey guys, and welcome back to Avatar Age of the Blood Moon. Nathan isn't here yet. Hopefully by the end of the video, he will jump on and we will do our water bending fight. But I thought, you know what? A cool little thing that I can actually do is showcase more of the modded stuff that is in this series and also make base progress. So I was like, you know what, what do I want to do to actually show off some new stuff and also work on my base? And that, and honestly, the only thing that came to my brain was a little bit of what to build up here. The first thing I'm thinking of building is a room, maybe over this area, this big chunk right here, putting some walls up and filling it to the brim with books or bookshelves, I should say, because I can make that an enchantment room. I still don't have my own enchantment room. Nathan has an insanely good one. I don't have one, but I thought I'd updo, I'd outdo him a little bit because you can make magical wood. Magical wood boosts a max level of enchanting tables by 2.5. These are used from bookshelves and a gold ingot. I have quite a bit, a bit of this, but then I also realized I was like, oh, that's, that's kind of cool. You know, we'll definitely do this, but what else can I do to show off some new stuff for you guys? I realized there's this, the magical boomerang. I want to make this because this only requires three magical wood. I don't know what it does. I'm assuming it's a boomerang that always comes back to me. And if so, then I'm going to have exactly like Saka's boomerang. Uh, and I should say, if you guys didn't see the last episode, I highly recommend you go check it out. We had an awesome airbending fight, but sadly, Nathan accidentally, I can, I can say accidentally because it's a bullshit bug, but I get it. I get it. It was out of his control. He accidentally hit our nameless companion, killing it. Hopefully it was it wasn't in pain when it happened, but we got ourselves a new buddy, uh, being Yuki. Yuki here being Snow, uh, and Jesus, Yuki is very quick. I have made a dragon staff to command Yuki, but if you didn't see the last video as well, we had a little memorial for our fallen companion, and I saw over on the Discord channel we got these two amazing fan arts of our fallen companion and my reaction to it. So thank you so much to both. Of those creators of those fan arts. They, they just look insane. What I'm thinking we're going to do now is we are just going to head over. See, I think I have quite a bit of books and we're just going to make a crap ton of bookshelves and all that stuff and see if we can start making this magic stuff and probably make the boomerang first and test that out because I think that'll be pretty cool to see. I mean, in all honesty, we have quite a bit of books. I don't know how many of these I'm going to need, but I'm just going to make that for now and then we're going to grab some of that gold, which I think, oh man, I really don't have much gold. Am I going to have to actually go mining? Like I get I have that, but I don't really want to touch that pile. <laughs> That's my show off pile. <laughs> I don't really want to touch that. Huh? We might actually have to go off, but there we go. I only need three apparently. So one, two, and two. Um, ah, uh, oh, I need XP. I didn't even realize that used up my XP. Okay. Uh, if that's the case, let's quickly head to the Enderman farm and get a little bit of XP grinded out 
and I'll probably cut for when I have quite a bit. I didn't actually realize it used up XP. Oh, but that, that actually remind me. I have already, I've so far, I'll actually show you guys. I have actually given my fishing rod mending because this villager, the cabbage man is now in here and he sells uh, books, which is great. He sells mending books, which is super helpful. So yeah, I got mending added to my fishing rod and we'll 100% buy more mending books in the future off of the cabbage man because yeah, why not? I, I, don't, I named him the Cabbage Man because why the fuck not? I couldn't think of any other cool name. So let's head over to the Enderman Farm and get some more XP. I will also apologize if you guys are noticing a difference in my microphone. My mic actually wasn't working when I woke up this morning. So I actually had to plug it into a different USB slot, making it reset. So hopefully my like settings and all that are pretty much the same. And yeah, I, really, I'll, I apologize a crap ton if it sounds like absolute garbage. Hopefully I'm working to get it fixed, but uh, I should have, if I'm correct, on me. Yes, my legendary ice sword. And let's just take uh, out quite a bit of these. I'm probably gonna cut because of how loud they are. I'm just gonna cut until I have quite a bit of XP. I think we're set on XP and I'm sorry if I'm yelling currently, but Jesus, these guys are loud. I really need to work on expanding this because yeah, it, it, these chests are chock full of stuff. Like, holy crap. All right, let's quickly head all the way back again. There we go, just take those guys out. Let's head all the way back again and now actually make a few more of these bookcases because I don't know if they work as bookcases or if they're just wood that you just literally add to the ground. I don't, I don't quite know. So we're going to make enough to obviously make this boomerang, test that out. And then we're going to probably start designing this actual enchantment room. Obviously I want to do probably a few other things in this video as well, but just in case, let's also take those off. Boop. And we're fine. All right, awesome. I do know there is that, that stupid bug still for some reason, and I have no idea why it's there. It, it's just very annoying bug. I don't know what causes it, but anyway, I need to go to the enchant, no, not enchantment. I need to go to the crafting table and let's make another one of these. And I just, I, I realized like, God damn, they actually used up a bit of XP, but boom. Wait, what's this? Magic planks. No, we don't want that. Boom, boom. There it is, the magic boomerang. How much, is this gonna take XP? No, there we go. We have got the magic, magical, magical boomerang. Are we, are we officially sucking now? <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, let's go find some mobs and test this boomerang out. I'm sorry, pig. Oh, wait. Wait, does it always just... Oh, shit. Yo. <laughs> okay. Hold up. Can I, like... Can I, like, chuck that in my offhand? And just, like, use that? Bro. And then, like, what? It always comes back? What if I, like, m move completely out of the way? Like, if I run over here? Yeah, it all... Oh, it's... Holy shit, that is so cool. And it doesn't have a durability. Uh, obviously, it's not the strongest thing. Uh, wait. And he just dropped an airbending scroll. Wow. I I'd say it's not the strongest thing, but it did one shot a chicken just then. I Yo, this is so cool. <laughs> this is actually really freaking cool. I really like this. I could just yeet it. And it, it no matter what, always comes back to me. It is literally Saka's boomerang. Unless I have to sacrifice it to defeat the Fire Nation. <laughs> I might have to do that at the end of the series, but yeah. All right, let's wait for some mobs to spawn in and actually test this out. Can I like, because clearly when it hit that chicken, I don't know if it came straight back after it hit the thing or if it goes through. Because if it goes through, or does it, yeah, I think it comes back. Yeah, it comes back when you hit something. Ah, uh, okay, cool. I was like, uh, does it come back? Hold up. So, yoink. Yo, that ain't bad. That ain't, can I just hold it? And like, it will constantly just keep trying to use it. Yeah, it does. Okay, that is freaking cool. And it, do it just does always come back. I don't need to worry about it. Bro, its range is ridiculous. <laughs> like, it doesn't do much damage. Don't get me wrong. It really doesn't do much damage, but something that doesn't break always comes back to me. Infinite ammo. Bro, <laughs> like, I can hit that creeper. I can hit that fucking creeper. That okay, we need to figure out. Can I actually, like, can I, like, yeet it? And then like you flick it around behind them. So like now come back and hit the skeleton. Oh, come on. We've got to try that. Come on. We've got to hit something. All right. So throw that and then go back and hit the skeleton. No, what? Okay. Fuck. And yeah. Eh. Eh. Boomerang, please help. No, you fuck. All right. Fine. I just, you know, what? that's, that's what I wanted. Exactly. Come on. 
Bro, I mean, obviously it's not the most powerful thing, but still, this, just a small, simple thing like this is so freaking cool. All right, 100%, let's look into see, I'm gonna probably Google it just in case I don't waste my own time and make a few mistakes. I'm probably gonna Google how the actual magic wood element works and see if I actually need to make like those as all of my enchantment, not enchantment, as all of my um actual, what's what's the word? Book bookshelves, book bookshelves, there we go. I could speak English, uh, but yo, hold up before we do that. A nameless companion, just pay our respect quickly. There we go. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna quickly search and see if those actual, these uh, magic, whatever you call them, these things replace bookshelves or not, because I can't make many. I know that, but still, I don't know. It says boost max level of enchanting tables. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So I'm gonna quickly Google it and see how this works and I'll be back in just a second. All right, so they literally work as bookshelves. And are you serious? I actually don't, I don't have enough levels to create another one. I need six. Six actually makes the enchantment table the max level. I think doing this and I can, Oh man, I can make a lot of other bookshelves and everything like that and actually try and make this room look super good. Huh. All right, we need to get some more XP quickly. So I'm gonna I'm probably just cut until I've got enough XP, make this final magical wood, and then we'll start making some bookshelves. And then I guess what you guys will see is a little bit of a time lapse of me actually getting ready and constructing the enchantment room. All right, there we go. So we now have 18 levels of XP Let's head up, create this last magical wood. And I was also thinking, just in case, because I don't know if Nathan's actually going to be free for us to do our water bending battle in this video. So what I might do instead is we might actually, because I'm running a lot of food, we might also work on a new farm. Because this is this has been holding us on for a long time. But I think it's time we actually move on from this and maybe turn this area into a much more of a fancy farm. Maybe even... No, we, I was going to say maybe even an automatic one, but in all honesty, I don't think we really need that. But still, like this, this farm isn't the best. It, it's, it obviously gets us through, but like not by much. We need something a bit better than this. So 100%, I'm probably going to, after we make this enchantment room, we'll also make a brand new farming area. That I think I think that'll be cool at least. Because, you know, we're getting a few cool things done, showing us some new things in this video. And, you know, definitely improving our food situation, I think is a pretty big leap. <laughs> Do, you know, it's better to do it nearly 40 episodes in than at the start. That's that's how you got to play this. Anyway, let's uh, let's make this last magic wood thing. There we go. All right, I think I put all the others in the backpack. Yeah, I did. All right, let's chuck that with that. And there we are. We now have, this is enough to make a, a freaking enchantment table max ability. That is actually kind of insane to think about. And I might quickly make a new one because I think it'll be nice having one in here just for show. But, oh wait, don't we need, is it that? Yeah, there we go. All right, I remembered how to craft one. There we are. Let's just chuck that back in there. But dude, I, that is insane to me how this actually allows you to make a max level enchantment table. So what I think we're gonna do now is we're gonna start a little bit of a time lapse of me constructing this new room. So let's start that. I still have no idea how this is gonna look by the way. So <laughs> let's start this completely random enchantment room build. Now, this is all done. It's not much from the outside. I really need to figure out what to do to make the outside area not look like blank and stupid. I might in the future, I don't know if there is a mod. I've looked into it a little bit, but I might see if I can figure out something with like fan art on these and having like different, maybe like little cabinets down here. So just something to make this look neater. Cause that looks bleh. That looks really disgusting. I, I tried doing a little bit at the front door and I like what I'm doing here but I still haven't really figured out something. I might make it kind of like what I've done on the inside. If we have a look in a second uh, with this spot, I might have that go up, make it more 3D. I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions, please let me know of what I can actually do because yeah, I don't know. I just think it looks really 
flat and plain. I, eh, I don't know. But anyway, it's a little, it's meant to be, I should say before we even go in and have a look at this, it's meant to be more fitting the other style of everything else I've got. Mixture of different woods and stones and a little bit messy because it's a library. I, I don't, I can never organize stuff. So I've tried making it a little bit more messy, but I think it works for the style. So let's go in and have a look at this. This is my little enchantment area. I haven't even tested the enchantment table yet. <laughs> this is all of it. This is everything. I've got all the blocks scattered across, which should make it so it's a max thing. It's got extra books just in case to give it some fancy look. Different colored bookshelves and everything like that. I used up every single book. Every single book I had to get this to work. I think it looks great. I, th I think it actually looks really freaking good. Uh, but yeah, I used every single book. So we are probably going to have to make another farm in the future to see if maybe like if we can make a sugarcane farm and all that stuff. We already have wood. We just need sugarcane. But yeah, I used a lot of my spruce wood and I used some oak. I didn't want to make it so it's all mainly oak. I wanted it to be mainly spruce. But yeah, I think it looks really cool. Obviously, I will make changes over time. We've got glowstone down in these little spots here. Glowstone hanging from the ceilings. I just wanted to give the ceiling some more depth because a flat roof just looks eh. So, I don't know. We also made spruce trap doors, which aren't actually in 1.12, but the quirks mod adds them. So, I might actually add... Actually, do I have any on me? Yes, I still have some on me. I might quickly actually add them for this side as well, just to give it some more depth. Yeah, there we go. I really like that. But there we go, guys. This is going to be my enchantment room. I have got chests scattered across with nothing in them, but I will be able to put lapis and even enchantment books I just don't use in these chests. So, there we go. I know it doesn't look amazing. It's not super fancy or anything like that, but it is just meant to be a messy library. And I think it looks kind of cool. So I hope you guys do like this area. But what we're going to probably do now, Nathan isn't going to hop online. Sadly, he is not going to be, he's not going to make it online in time. So what I'm thinking we're going to do, we've already made a few cool little things like our trusty boomerang, which we can catch it easy as peasy like that. I think what we might do now is actually start work on that sugarcane farm I just mentioned and also try and improve my already existing farm. I think that'll be kind of cool. And it will allow for food to be much easier in the future, I, I think at least. So this little area, we will change. I don't know. I don't know how yet. I, I want to make this somewhat more advanced or something. I don't know what to do. I might look at a few different farm ideas online because that's the easiest way you can get some different ideas and expand upon it yourself. And maybe even make that area up there. Uh, whoop, make that area up there a farm or something. I don't quite know yet. So I'm going to have to look into that. But what I'm thinking is we might make this top area a farm and yeah, go from there. So I guess I'll see you guys in just a second when either I have an idea or we're going to start another time lapse. But I'm pretty sure I'll run the idea by you guys before I even start building it. So I'll see you guys in just a second once I have more ideas. is all done. I actually was going to build this over in the air temple, but I think here, because I already had most of the garden worked out, I think here worked perfectly. I've cut back a lot of the water areas, giving myself basically six more things, or wait, oh no, it's uneven. I need to add one block to the end. Ah, oh, uh, that's fine. I could definitely do that in my own time, but hey, I think this looks really cool. I wanted a way to make the water look fancy, make it look different make it look better. And I think this is definitely, oh, I just realized my bending is unset because I had to export my actual recording. Uh, but there we go. Let's just set that quickly and set water skate and then also set my air blades. There we are. But this I think looks awesome, especially when you see it up here because you can still see like a bit of the water. I just wanted to give it, I don't know, a bit more gravitas, make it look a bit, a bit fancier. I also, while I was at it, added these, little stairways just to just to make going up and down this mountain a bit easier and well it just looks so freaking cool i, I want to try and get some bone mill and give this place more grass because I, I have destroyed a lot of the grass just moving and placing different stuff but dude this looks good while i was at it as well while i was actually getting all the stuff ready to build this i decided to actually start organizing the item sorter so if we head in here quickly and fly past yuki right here as you can see 
we have all of these new blocks which show off my item sorter. So if you guys don't know how this works, how it actually has to do the things to make it sort the items is you have to fill up the area with the blocks you want to go there. A good example of this is this one. As you can see, I eventually don't, I don't actually have enough stuff to put in this one for now. So currently I've just put seeds in all the empty slots. So if I put seeds in here, I'll just actually grab these. You know, we actually have cra a crap ton of seeds on us. Let's test this out. If I put these 31 seeds in here, give it a minute. It will start lagging because it does actually activate all of this stuff to get it all going. So it will be a little bit choppy for a minute, but if we just let it happen, as you can see, the seeds start getting placed in there. They It scans through every single chest to see where these seeds should go. And that's why it makes it lag a little bit, but then it actually puts them in the correct spot. This also eliminates any problems in the future. If I don't have a spot for that item, it will continue past and go into that little hopper there, which will lead into this machine, which will scan through all its chests and go into the next one, so on and so forth, until it gets to a junk chest, which I'll probably have at every now and then. I, might, I, I don't know, I might have the junk chest all the way at the end or something like that. I want to have an input at basically every second spot. There will be an input where I can put the items in case like I go, oh, I know coal's not in that section here, but coal's like here, I'll place it in this spot here. So on and so forth. So that is really cool, all set up. For now, this is probably the best I could do with like wool and concrete, because I have quite a bit of that surprisingly. All my redstone, uh, all the like extra stuff you kind of use with uh, stone, but I've then also got up in this one, my actual stone brick stuff. And as you can see, I, I can I don't know why I'm chucking them all in that way. I can literally just chuck them all in here like this and it should sort through them uh, pretty much like that. I've made sure everything is in there. So the wood should go where the wood is and everything like that. That's pretty much a good test actually, putting all this junk, I guess you could say, in there just to make sure it works. It, it is obviously a little bit slow, but imagine me just walking around my base or building at my base and that doing it in the back in its own time. I think that is really freaking cool. Uh, but yeah, you know what guys, that is probably where I'm going to leave this video. I want to work out in the next video what else to build up here and make this maybe a bit into a corridor. I'm thinking of maybe making this bit come out to like here and then having the other building. So this is like gonna be a giant corridor with buildings on both or doorways on both sides that have different rooms. And then this one was gonna be just a corridor leading up into this corridor. Instead of making it look, you know, a bit like this is a, a wall here, then it's gonna go flat and then become more rooms there. Instead of that, it's gonna be an actual corridor area leading into more doors and stuff. I don't know if you guys can kind of picture what I'm saying, but yeah, I'm going to try and see if I can work that out for next video. We did quite an actual bit today. We got this enchantment room all set up. So now we have max level enchantments when we want. We have the magical boomerang, which is probably one of my new favorite items. <laughs> Not going to lie. And of course, our farming situation is probably, uh, it's gotten an upgrade. It has definitely gotten an upgrade and having a look at it from a distance looks so cool. I definitely need to fix that one block issue. But other than that, I think that is really cool. It go matches every other thing that I've built aesthetic wise. It looks so good. Uh, and I didn't actually realize, but with the, the quirks mod, that actually ma makes it. So if you right click something that's already done, it harvests it. So this is very helpful. Like that is so helpful. I don't know why that's not a feature in just vanilla Minecraft. That is so good. But anyway, guys, that is where I'm going to leave this one. I hope you did enjoy it. Stay tuned for the next one. The next one is definitely going to be a next waterbending battle to decide who's the real avatar. So far, I hold one point out of four because I won the airbending battle. But anyway, I hope you guys are looking forward to that and I'll see you in the next video. See you guys.